<laughs> and welcome to the last match of the night, the Blades versus the Valkyries. Uh, these are both also teams that are doing rather well, um, especially once the Valkyries got 18 and Aureli on their side. <laughs> now oh, yeah. they are... Aure they are Aureli's, they, Aureli's really surprised me. I was not expecting her to perform the way she does. They are a scary team. Like, I have to admit, last week, I was scared to death to face them. <laughs> And and Yajirobe's scary too because if he does Sensu Bean, it's it's over. I mean, it's not over. But you know what I mean? It's like having a fifth member almost. Almost, yeah. It really depends on when he uses it too. Right. Because Yajirobe gains his blast gauge one, I believe, the fastest in the entire game. And they got yeah, uh, and, and they got abilities on him to gain it even faster. Right. Oh, they still are using Dragon Spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, oh. look, Fasha hasn't even gained one yeah, yet. He's so almost Fasha. at two. Yeah, so, Fasha's yeah. got to really keep the aggression up and just knock Yajirobe out as fast as possible. Well, she's doing she, it. She can't back off too much. And she's she's starting to, for sure. Oh, actually connected with that one for 2,000 oh. points of damage. Better than Krillin's. Too bad. <laughs> we completely missed today. <laughs> we got a, a high-speed combat going here. And uh, the match is just starting, and, and, and Snowy's already gone into unintelligible rage. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to get Snowy, the coach for the Valkyries, on here for one of her matches, just so that we can hear her raging. Because, <laughs> look, the chat room can get pretty crazy. The chat room can get pretty crazy, but she's, like, legendary for her. <laughs> her passion, shall we say? Competitive edge. <laughs> yes, competitive her competitive edge. edge. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Let's just say I don't want to be the Valkyries in the locker room after they lose. <laughs> oh man. Ed. Oh man. I, I keep. I keep. I'm. <laughs> it keeps popping up. I pulled the sound up on the chat. It keeps popping up. I'm just kind of scared. <laughs> and hearing this popo voice in my inner ear. So it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And Fasha's at max energy. She could turn this fight's been even so far, but she could turn it around right now. No, right now. No, not right now. Not right now. Yeah, Jirobi's actually getting the better of her. And it's still an even fight. Okay, and no one's doing much of anything right now. Fasha? You have max energy. Fasha's you want to use it? To do she uses it. She uses it. She uses it. She uses it. Oh, and she connects it with it. Nice. <laughs> she uses it hard. She does it. <laughs> she has the best, one of the best ultimates in the game for this point right here. Crack. Look at that. Fourteen thousand points of damage. I don't Take care. Face palming to a whole new level. Unyielding spirit. Uh, and good news is she's gotten Yajirobe down before idea. he could. Uh, charge up his blast stock so if she can take him out oh no and this is almost an even fight again but if she can take Yajirobe out before he uh, gains five tags out you know gains five blast stocks because he doesn't have the time to gain five blast stocks here but if he tags out maybe I don't remember if he has uh, I think he does I think he has a uh, Kabito Kai's secret art so if he tags out this could be very bad news for the Vals the Fasha has to finish him Yeah, he either he either just really needs to keep Fasha away from him while he gets up to five blast gauge or tag out. Those are really his only options. I don't think now. he'll last he, long enough to gain another. Well, he's at four. He dodged it. He could. Th oh, she tags out. Good move by Fasha. In comes Videl. Videl needs to finish him off quickly. He might get to five. No, he tags out. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh wow. wow! And a golden opportunity so missed. Be on his lap. Oh man, that might that might pose as a really bad, a really good anchor for the blades, and that'll that'll make it really hard uh, harder for the Valkyries to follow it up. And you know, and really now it's Videl going yeah, up against gets a chance. going up against Tapion. Videl not off to a good start. She tries her ultimate. Will she connect? No, she misses. I think that was her ultimate.
and uh, Tapion's ahead by about a bar. Videl trying to come in, and uh, Videl's been very much improved the past couple of weeks. But, uh, excuse me, I don't know if she's good enough to take on Tapion. Tapion's one of the better members of the league because of this right here, his ability to spam. Yeah, his blast, two, blast twos are definitely some of the strongest in the league. A high speed not, rush not versus blast that. cannon. Yeah, really strong blast one two. Ouch. Oh, oh wow. And, and, and the, one of the bad parts is that, um, you know, a human player, those rush moves, like, they can actually curve the rush moves to the left or to the right to dodge beams like that and still connect. But the computer never does it. So casting a rush move during a beam move is just a death sentence. You know, if you're a human, yeah. you still you can still go to the left or right and dodge it um, and like curve around them, but the computer just doesn't do it. It would be nice to see that every once in a while. Yeah, see some much finer control. Either way, Tapion is just, just managing to keep his health for now. Oh, but Videl gets an advantage. Oh, oh. Videl's behind him again. No, it's twice now. Videl's oh gotten gosh, behind him. The Dell max power. If she can throw an ultimate out, she can turn this around. Actually, if she can just throw out anything and hit with it, she'll do pretty good. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, Tapion has two blasts. The Dell rush. He uses a really nicely. She timed connects. Or an uh, Android barrier. Uses barrier. Oh, but it. No, oh, wow. she connects with her ultimate. Uh, for 11,000 points of damage, her ultimate's not that strong, but I mean, you know, it's Videl. It's, her moves aren't particularly powerful. Ouch! And it's an even fight again. These two are tearing each other apart. I'm actually really proud of Videl. I mean, if you think about it, she's facing yeah, she's the Blades, one of the Blades' best teams. And she tags out! Smart move! And in comes 18. Now, this is a more even match. Oh, and not anymore. 18 takes That's down Tapion. And in comes Trunks. Trunks was rather impressive last week. He did. He was one of the stronger performers of Team Blade this this last week. Still wasn't saying against much. 18. He's got his work cut out for him. Which we're wondering where Apothic is. There haven't been any changes to Team Blade or conversations on the Blade's website for a while. Apothic, if you're out there, we got some milk cartons with your face on it. Where you at, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that 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 is a major concern because if if Blade aren't start, uh, if they don't get any new input on where they need to go next later on this week, I don't know if they'll be able to get a chance back at placing for the playoffs. They're right. already in a really tough position as is. Wow, nice combo by Trunks, but she dodges it. Can't hit 18 that easily. Um, by the way, also, everyone, because I've been getting a lot of uh, messages about this, a lot of people want to know if there's going to be any new, uh, any other uh, more pregame shows. Like, they like the, uh, at the first week where we started it, where we, you know, had a podcast, we talked about the upcoming week, the teams, all that stuff. Well, um, you guys are going to have to talk to the staff about that, uh, because that's kind of their deal. Um, if they want to do it, they're all for it. I just don't have the time to do that as well. But, uh, and of course this applies to you as well. If you and, and Piff and Sparta and uh, Apothic or just some of you can get together and every week do a podcast on it and put it up on the website, because you know, like a sports show where you can talk about what t teams have do well or bad, what changes are good, you know, just general Dragon Ball Z League talk. I've been getting a lot of messages about, are we going to keep doing that? So uh, if you guys want mm. that, wow, they cancel each other. No, no, Trunks actually went no, through her destructor disc. went through. Yeah. Wow. Um, but if you guys want to want to uh, want more of those podcasts, get on uh, get on the staff about it. You know, make your voices heard. Trunks wins the high yeah, speed rush. Let us know. I would be more than happy to do it, but I'm just I have too much to do <laughs> with all the LPs I'm doing and everything else. I I, I I should not add more stuff to my plate. And mm, it's yeah, an it's even start. fight so far. All right. 